I'm gonna do some bow shooting here. Finally all caught up with stuff. So let's grab, let's grab this puppy. Grab this puppy, I got bow stuff out. Bow stuff always going on. They have their cousins over here. I'm shooting my bow. Oh my god! See? I kept telling him he had puppy nuts, but you went you went for it, didn't you? He just I pushed him. <laughs> See, it wasn't bad. Now I I turned the camera on, now you're gonna be on our YouTube. Oh, Alright. It wasn't that scary, was it? No. Okay, I gotta go in and uh, shorten the draw stops on my bow a little bit. That dog does not listen. He's getting screamed at. Got some good shots going here. Bear shaft flying good right with there. Shot the deer, shot him a little high. Just doing some shooting. It's getting ready to pour down rain. What are you guys doing, huh? That big one there is a red Duroc, and that's a Hereford pig. That's a girl, and there's a boy. That boy, he's getting big. Hopefully she'll start packing on the pounds here soon. But all the time I'll come out here, they'll, they think they're gonna get something to eat because they're just starving. Usually I'll give them a little bit in the mornings and then about four at night, we'll give them a big old scoop of food. But they get pumped up. They're about, they're about like dogs. Hey, you can't eat that. Hey. Oh yeah, he likes scratches. Big old juicy porkers. Anyway, it's getting ready to rain here. We might go do some shroom. Hey, look at that little bunny. There he is. He's probably born inside the log pile. I'm gonna go back here and take a couple shots at about 60 yards.
absolutely dead center. Ah, it's a little wobbly on that second one. But that first arrow, she, uh, called the arrow was she, yeah. That one dropped right in there. Let's go check it out. There's a 60 yarder right through the ticker on that. And, and the, the other one, it, I hit a, hit a little bit right. Freaking right. It's kind of windy. No excuses, I just, I just hit right. This here target setup is pretty nice. Obviously, it's not a broadhead target. And I just drove shims in here to hold it. There's some driven from the backside. So that way it's nice, you know. And of course, I like to... Got to have my rope hanging with the ball. With the knot ball. Painted it red. But yeah, I got me a new deer target in the shed and stuff. I don't want to get it out yet because I haven't destroyed this stuff. Put tennis balls all over the post that we built the new raised beds with. There's some back there too. And now it's starting to rain harder. So I'm going to get out of this crap. And then here in a little while we're going to go mushroom hunting. There's a couple shots. Kind of like I trim these pine trees up and I can do some different shots around my yard here. Cause I ain't really been hunting nothing. So I just create different scenarios in the yard for practice in the pines, shoot under them, kick some balls around the yard, shoot at them, stuff like that. New garden looks pretty neat down yonder. New target setup looks neat. Old piggies, they're happy. I'm just shooting absolute crap out of my bow and my fingers are like trashed. I don't know, I probably shot like 200 arrows today. Just messing around here, making sure this thing is good which I always make sure about 200 plus times. And them new raised beds, that's all wood chips and on top it's it's built up about four inches of uh, compost. Gonna be good stuff. So I think I'm just gonna take a couple shots down here. I got the ducks down here. They're, some, they're all herded up little gaggle of ducks i'm gonna take some shots at the caribou and just see what happens absolutely perfect I'm not the steadiest because my arms are just trashed. I think I got this set at about 53 pounds. I got one of them handheld scales. And when I weigh it, I mean, the numbers bounce back and forth a few pounds unless you're really steady, a real constant pull. I keep getting like 51 and a half to 53 point whatever. Uh, so I'm going to call this thing 52 and a half pounds. I had it at 60 earlier today and I just, yeah, I was shooting it pretty good. It shoots really flat. I could stretch her out there a long ways off shooting that flat, but it's just not comfortable for what, for me. 52 is plenty. I blow through everything with it, but, but yeah, dude, this is, this sucker's, this sucker's on the money. A lot, a lot of guys will ask, well, about the flipper rest it's just a cheap old flipper rest and it 
it can be a pain but it takes a lot of shooting a lot of tuning just just messing around to try to get it just right but here's there's what mine kind of looks like about how far it is from the riser I glued some leather on there that way it's all quiet I need to put my light mount back on but yeah yeah just move your rest in and out there there's gonna be a sweet spot and whatever you do make sure you're not overdrawing your bow if you're shooting fingers and your strings past like say past your cheek past a comfortable anchor because that's a lot of sideways oscillation when you release and you really got to work on your release to be consistent i still get bad arrow flight sometime but anybody's going to shooting fingers especially when they shoot a lot of arrows down range now tomorrow when i start out fresh when i'm out here at about five in the morning i should be all rested up and good but yeah i can't complain i even shot that bare shaft into that block down there before i turned the camera on and it flew perfect anyway I think I'll shoot one more. I'll uh, I'll try to shoot this arrow through that the turkey's head, and then I think we're gonna call it a video. Yeah. What stink? Hey. Step back a second, I'm going to try to hit the head on the turkey. Okay. Right over the top, but if I had a big old broad head on there that took his head off, just hit a little bit high. This is the video stink. We haven't been on here in a while, have we? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Did you find a bunch of mushrooms today? Mm -hmm. mm. She's wore out. We went hiking and I forgot to bring this. Otherwise, I would have had a little mushroom hunting video. How to find mushrooms. You walk through the woods and find a good spot. Hey, well, we'll see you on the next one. I'm probably going to shoot like 50 more because I still got time before a storm blows in. See ya.